Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're getting started on the first install for the C6 Corvette Grand Sport that I picked up. And as many of you could have guessed with the first mod, we are starting off with a cold air intake for the car. This one is from Air Raid. I did a little bit of research on intakes for these cars and which intake is best, you know, which one makes the most power. Um, this one's not gonna make the most power out of all the intakes. For most of the consensus, that's the uh, the Veram intake that will actually make the most power. However, there may be some issues with that intake because it's a Ram Air design and it actually will sit at the bottom of your bumper here and suck in air. There has been some horror stories of some guys going in some puddles, sucking up a bunch of water in their engine. Yeah, that's no bueno. Let's be honest, it's a cold air intake, so I'm probably leaving like two or three horsepower on the table, not going with that one. So that doesn't bother me at all. But there were a lot of good things to be said about this air raid. It also is sealed off a lot better than the other intakes, which means all the hot air from the engine bay is not gonna make itself into the intake. That's the whole point of a cold air intake anyways. Let's get started on boxing this guy. Here we go. Here's the uh, the intake shroud of that. Let's just go ahead and lay it all out right up here. Got some more pieces for the air dam to keep the hot air out from the engine bay. Um, looks like we have a coupler and some of the rubber molding that's gonna go around those air dams is what I assume there. And finally, here's the intake filter itself. Obviously, I've opened a little bit of this box. I have not opened the filter yet. So let's get a good look at this guy. Holy gigantic. <sighs> wow. Okay. I didn't know it was yellow. Um, that's cool, I guess. Oh, and we have a sticker that we will not be putting on our car. All right, I have yet to work on this car and I really haven't gotten a very good look at its engine bay, but it's a cold air intake. This should be a relatively straightforward and simple install of that. There you see the gorgeous LS3. All right, so the first steps you're gonna wanna take is you're gonna wanna remove the appropriate connections. So you're gonna wanna remove the mass airflow sensor connector there. You got a gray pin you're gonna pull out and you're gonna push on that tab right there to remove that. Then you're gonna remove the I believe this is something to do with the crank crankcase pressure. That's just by pulling this tab right here, pulling that out, comes right off. Um, then we have three grommets resting on the radiator here and then two hose clamps. And as far as I can see, that's about it. This is kind of a weird GM part. Oh, yep, you just pull up on that. <sighs> Let me go around the other side of the car. Not familiar with these things actually. That's kind of odd. Um, that seems to have gotten it right out. <laughs> and then we're simply gonna just wanna loosen these guys, these guys here. I believe it should just come right out now. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So maybe it's easier just to remove this first and then you can go and get that factory bit. But as you can see, the stock air box is already out. And my air filter actually looked really clean. Um, so that's a plus. We weren't sucking in any unnecessary contaminants there. Ooh, real nice and dirty there. What's my throttle body look like? That looks relatively clean. Doesn't look that dirty. So you are gonna wanna remove this PVC piece from the factory coupler there, and you're gonna wanna reinstall it here on this. I'm guessing they supply something for that. Let me finish opening this bag up here. Here we go, I found the grommet we're gonna reuse here. So you're just gonna simply Go ahead and, oh, this might take a little while to shove it in there actually. Oh, actually it's not too hard to get, okay. Just gonna wanna shove it in there like that, like so. Make sure it's properly poked through all the way. Yep, there we go. And it's just simply a matter of plugging that bit back in. Ah, oh, nice snug fit. Yeah, there's not gonna be a vacuum leak there, that's good. So, so far these bits are easily the most annoying part of the install. But as you see, there's a little screw that goes into the side of the intake right here. There's the other port for the other side here, which is side you're gonna match up just like that. I have this rubber on here backwards. I need to change that real fast. But if you have fat hands like me, you're gonna have kind of a tough time getting a screwdriver in there. It's just more annoying than it is um, bad design. Um, it looks like it will help keep the, air, the, uh, the heat out a little bit, so I'm not mad about it. There we go. I'm assuming some of your guys' throttle bodies might look as dirty as mine, so just take a little bit of time to maybe clean some of that gunk off of there. This thing looks like it's universal to either side. Um, I guess we're about to find out whether 
that assessment is true or not. So let me just throw that on the throttle body here real fast. Ooh, yeah. She is definitely a tight fit. That's what she said. Which is not me complaining. That's going nowhere. Okay, here's something that's very important to note. One of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to put the intake into the, uh, the coupler on the throttle body first, actually, um, because you're not gonna be able to fit this into the throttle body if you already have the filter on and tightened. So don't make the same mistake as me. And just follow the directions, basically, like they tell you to. What are these pieces, GM? I don't like that at all. Let me go over this side here. I can tell you right now, that is not gonna be a fun fit. Grommets do not really fit that well. There's these side clips you're gonna slide onto the radiator shroud, like so. GM didn't do a very good job cutting that from factory. <laughs> GM quality right there, boys and girls. Okay, so I fought for about 10 minutes getting this intake filter on. Basically, what gets it on is you need the, uh, the Air Raid logo at the bottom. It needs to be upside down. Looking at it, the dimensions don't look any different, but trust me, flip it upside down, it will actually go in. Makes no sense. Should have put that in the directions. Somewhat aggravated with how long that took me to do. And this kit's somewhat aggravated me as well with some of the silly things like these grommets as well. Um, it seems to fit real good now, but as far as the install, I gotta give that like a four out of 10. There's just so many unnecessary small little steps that were annoying. And then making you use Allen keys for these screws right here. First of all, if you make me use Allen keys on any kit I install, automatically you're, you're going down two points on the install, automatically. Cannot stand Allen keys. I don't like this whole grommet system for the intake as well too. So other than some annoying things, it's still a pretty, Still pretty easy install. Use some of the tips I gave you. It'll save you a lot of time. I have some leftover bolts here. I'm just assuming those are for the mass airflow sensor. So let's finish transferring over this mass airflow sensor and we'll give it a startup. Okay. Oh wow, that doesn't fit very well. I see why they told you to put this mass airflow sensor in earlier because the power steering's in the way. So far, Corvette is infinitely more annoying to work on than my Mustang. And this is just an intake. <laughs> oh God, what else awaits me? <laughs> the f is wrong with you? God, you're annoying. Okay, so of course, go around the car, make sure you retighten everything after you have made sure everything is fitting properly. Connect all of the Connections back on. It's this mass airflow sensor that I forgot to plug in just now. Whoever's the engineer that put this power steering right here, I hate you. Thank you. Just wanted to say that. Okay, great. All that's left to do is a first startup to hear how she sounds. All right, finally, it's time to find out what it sounds like if it makes any excess noise or anything. I have my mom sitting there recording. Okay, so far, no check engine lights, no weird idle. Um, that's all good. We're gonna let it warm up, just another 10 seconds or so. Oh, yeah, we definitely hear a little intake. Gonna do a couple more revs here. As you heard, we do have some nice intake noise coming from the car again. If you can see closely, I don't know if my GoPro is gonna pick it up. I got all my oils from my skin all over my fenders. That's all right, she'll be getting a wash in a day or two. We'll be taking her to her first car show. She's officially kind of not stock. If I have to rate the installation of this kit by ease, 
Um, I'm gonna go like a seven out of 10. There's definitely some weird things you have to do. If you're even slightly mechanically inclined, you know how to put an intake on a car, right? It's simple, you're just connecting couplers and all that stuff. Uh, you have to follow directions on this kit. Otherwise, you're not gonna let any of that stuff fit. Intake filter can't be on the intake first before you put it on there. Throttle body needs to be in the intake cone before you put the intake on there. You have to connect it to the throttle body first. I guess I didn't realize how little space there is to work with with that. Everything's fit in there so tight, so you do need to follow the correct way to put the intake on the car if you want it to fit first and not take an hour and a half to install the intake. Because I had to take it off about five, six, seven times. Um, definitely got pretty annoyed with that. As you can see, there was no dash light for a check engine light, um, so it's not throwing any codes. Uh, we definitely heard some more intake noise, so that's a plus. Um, I bet the exhaust note will be slightly, slightly, slightly louder um, as it is with all intakes, but nothing significant. You're probably not even gonna notice it. Um, and it may be just a tad bit faster. You probably won't notice that as well, maybe until you get it tuned. With all that said, well, let's make sure the, the hood closes with it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go there. We hope you're excited to see more mods on the car coming soon. As you know, this car is still way, way too quiet for me. We will make sure that gets fixed soon. But stay tuned for some more C6 Grand Sport content coming soon. And I'll make sure to catch you guys again next time.